The following five cases are those of John and Jane Doe's, persons who remain nameless. Case number one is that of an unidentified black male that was located lying on the street at the 1400th block of Key Highway, about half a mile from the Locust Point Marine Terminals. He was seen walking alone on Fort Avenue shortly after 1 p.m. The victim became involved in an argument with a group of youths near the corner of Fort Avenue and Bull Street. A policeman arrived at the scene at 1.35 and the victim ran. The youths chased the victim at approximately 1.55 and he was found stabbed. He died in half an hour at the hospital. He had no identification. The suspects have been charged with first degree murder. The victim was discovered April the 8th, 1993 in Baltimore, Maryland and died hours prior due to a homicide. He had been stabbed. His estimated age is 20 to 30 years old and approximate height and weight 6'1 to 6'2 and 169 pounds. His hair was black, short and tapered on the sides. He had brown eyes. He had a mustache with a slight beard. His clothing included a three-fourths link olive coat, blue and yellow striped shirt, black t-shirt, and blue jeans. He wore white tennis shoes. Fingerprints and DNA are available, however, dental is not. If you have any information regarding this gentleman's identity, you can contact the Baltimore Police Department or the Maryland Medical Office of the Chief Medical Examiner listed below. You may remain anonymous while submitting information. Case number two is that of an unidentified black female child who was found abandoned in the unit block of Rhode Island Avenue Northeast Washington DC on March the 20th of 1998. Her approximate age was five days old and approximate height 48 centimeters and five pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes. Along with the child was a knitted white blanket with sky blue and pinkish orange border. She was wearing a one-piece sleeper that was white and colorful with colorful constructed machinery and Dalmatian puppies. It fastened in the front. She was also wearing a knitted light purple sweater and bonnet that seemed to be handmade. If you have any information on this child's identity, please contact the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department Missing Persons Unit. You may remain anonymous while submitting this tip. This is a living doe and she would be 18 years old today. Case number three is that of a male of an unknown race that was located unresponsive and adjacent to the railroad tracks behind Anderson Clayton Alloy Express in the Alloy vicinity. On April the 2nd, 2001, in Pinnell County, Arizona. His approximate age is between 17 to 29 years old. Approximate height and weight 5'7 and 113 pounds. He had black hair and brown eyes and a fine black mustache and chin hair. His left ear was pierced at least three times and right ear was not pierced. The victim had several scars on his body. One included an encircling pattern on his right upper arm that had the appearance of barbed wire, on his right lower abdomen that was well healed, on both eyebrows, on the left side of his chin, and left side of his chest. Tattoos included a blue and black tattoo head of a bulldog with a spiked collar, on the left hand irregular blue and black dots, on his left wrist, three black dots in a triangular pattern. For clothing, he wore blue denim pants, Dickies brand, a white cloth belt with a metal buckle bearing the letter N, white sleeveless undershirt, Hanes brand, white briefs that were Fruit of the Loon brand, size medium, white Atlas shoes, Nike brand, US shoe size eight, white socks, a brown wallet, that was Nike brand, containing a letter and the portion of a directory containing writing. Dental, fingerprints, and DNA are all available. If you have any information regarding this man's case, please contact the Pinot County Medical Examiner's Office listed below. 
Case number four is that of an unidentified white or Hispanic female that was found off I-10 near the Guadalupe River Bridge on March the 6th, 2010 in Kendall County, Texas. Her date of death had been one to 10 years prior. The state of her remains were skeletal and the cause of death was a homicide. Her estimated age is 17 to 26 years old and race white or Hispanic. Her estimated height was five feet to five four. Her weight is unknown. Hair color and eye color are also unknown. She had an open chest surgery as a child or adolescent and some deformities in both hills. Fusions were observed and some of the sacral vertebrae and the tailbone was found fused or deviated to the left. She may have had to use crutches or a wheelchair or possibly a walker. Dental is available as she had extensive dental work. Fingerprints are not, but DNA is. If you have any information regarding this woman's identity, please contact the Kendall County Police Department listed below. Case number five is that of an unidentified black female who was discovered burning in a dumpster June the 29th, 2001 in the industrial area off of 18th Avenue and Power Inn Road in Sacramento, California. Further examinations of her lungs indicated that she was alive when the fire ignited and that she had been wrapped or carried in the comfort shown here. It is reported that prior to the fire, a 70s era orange Datsun 270Z or 260Z with a primered gray left front fender was seen in the area. She was believed to be a white female until October 2017 when DNA analysis indicated that she was most likely of African American descent with Northern European ancestry. Her estimated date of death was minutes prior to discovery. The state of her remains were not recognizable, charred, and burned. Her cause of death is listed as a homicide. Her estimated age is 16 to 30 years old and race black with some European ancestry. Her estimated height and weight was 5 feet to 5'6 and 90 to 140 pounds. Her hair color was possibly black and eye color possibly brown or hazel based on DNA analysis. She had previously suffered a broken nose and likely had no freckles or brown or dark complexion based on DNA analysis. Her dentals are available. She had no cavities and her teeth were very well cared for. All of her teeth had plastic sealants and she had porcelain caps on her teeth. The victim is missing all of her front bicuspids, number 5, 12, 21, and 28. She had previously orthodontics or preparation for orthodontics as all four wisdom teeth are present. She had lower wisdom teeth but were not fully erupted. Fingerprints and DNA are also available. She may have been wearing a structure brand, jeans and jean jacket, jewelry and other personal items are unknown. If you have any information regarding this woman's case, please contact the Sacramento Police Department listed below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video and I will catch you guys on my next video.